a video talking about some array range basics. And this is gonna be part one of slightly more advanced arrays. So in this part one video, I wanna talk about how you lay out an array, a horizontal array, a vertical array. And then once we have that down, in the next video we can talk about a two dimensional array. And then from there we can kind of expand into the other functions that we can use with this. So for now, keep in mind this video is just to explain how to use directional arrays, a horizontal array or a vertical array in Excel. So what I have here is, let's say I have five cells along, let's say the row three here, that I'd like to populate with the numbers one, two, three, four, five. Or you know what, why don't we do six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What we use as the content is not important. How we lay it out is important and how we deal with arrays. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press equals and then in the curly braces I'm going to set up and type in my array. So I'm going to type in the number six and then I'm going to use a comma and it's important that we use a comma because in a comma, a comma in an array in Excel means that we're going to move the information horizontally across the cells. So again, because I've selected five cells here, I would like the first cell to contain the number six, then a comma, and I'm going to do seven comma, eight, comma, nine, comma, 10. So that means based on my selected cells here, because I did pre-select A3 to E3, so those five cells, it's gonna populate it with six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You can populate it with whatever content you want. That's not really important at this point. What is important is to understand how arrays work and how they function in Excel. So if I've used a comma, I'm now gonna hold down Control and Shift, which we learned in the previous array video, and then I'm going to press enter and you can see that it populates that information going across. Now, if I were to do the same thing, except only select, let's say the first cell in that array, or let's say select five cells going down and type in very similar information. Let's do 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And keep in mind, I'm separating with commas. So when I hold control shift and hit enter, it's actually not going to populate any of these cells going down. And that's because, sorry, any cells going down with 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that's because this is set up as a horizontal array using a comma. If I would have selected the information going across, let's say in this case, so I'm going to select across. I'm going to edit that cell, control shift enter. You can see the numbers are getting filled in in a horizontal array. And that's because I'm using a comma. In a vertical array, it's a very similar scenario, except for the fact that instead of using a comma, we're gonna use a semicolon. So if I did six, semicolon, seven, eight, nine, ten, and these are all being separated with a semicolon, I put those in those curly braces. If I hold control shift and hit enter, and remember I did select those cells, those five cells going down, it populates it with that information. So to move across horizontally in an array, we would use a comma. To go vertically, we would use a semicolon. In the next video, we'll talk about how you can combine the two, and that will be in part two. And in part three, we'll talk about how this applies to Excel in a useful way, how we can apply this to functions. 